Hello, and welcome to another episode of Mr. Kong Has Problems. Tonight in grade 5, we are working on module 2, lesson number 16. We are using divide by 10 patterns to do multi-digit whole number division. So this is a new concept for us, so we're handling it in a couple of different ways. I'm going to try to model a couple of those ways for you so that you've got some support as you face your homework tonight. Let's take a look at two problems. Problem number one says simply divide. Draw place value disks to show your thinking for A and C. You may draw disks on your personal whiteboard to solve the others if necessary. Okay, well let's take a look at A then because I want to do one of the ones where we do draw place value disks. So if we're trying to divide 300 by 10, one of the strategies that we can use is we can say, let's imagine we had place value disks. We, let's imagine we had those. So 300, that's going to mean we've got three of our place value disks here. That's a place value disk representation of 300. What would it mean to divide those by 10? Well, let's see. We can take each of those and draw a little arrow. We'll say, let's divide by 10. What happens when we divide by 10? Well, what happens is we could take each one of those place value disks and divide it individually by 10. So let's see. What if we had 100 and divided by 10? Well, that would be like just 10, I guess, right? And what if we had another 100? Oh, that would be another 10 disk. And our third hundred? Well, that, if that got divided by 10, too, that would be this one. So let's see. What do we have left after we've divided by 10? Looks like we've got one, two, three, ten disks. So let's see. I would say that then we have 30, right? So we would give our answer as 30. 300 divided by 10 equals 30. And this fits, I have to say, with our understanding of place value. Because when we think of a number like 300, if we were to multiply it by 10, we would be moving each of these digits out one place value, right? The hundreds would become thousands, the tens would become hundreds, the ones would become tens, the tenths would become ones. So it stands to reason that if we're doing this with division, when we divide by 10, we're going to be moving our place values back one to the right. So our hundreds become tens. Hey, there it is. Our tens become ones, like that. And our ones become tenths, which we don't have to write here. I and mean, we could say it's 31, I'm 30 and 0 tenths, but we don't really have to. We can just leave it like that. So now we've seen it in a couple of different ways. We've seen it done with place value disks, and we can see it done a little bit as mental math as well. Let's take a look at another problem and see if that helps us figure out more. Problem number two, directions again, very simple. Divide, the first one is done for you. Let's see how they did 2a. It looks like they have 18,000 divided by 20. And what they did is they said, hey, rather than divide by 20, that might be something we can't do in our head. Let's break down the division and say this is the same as 18,000 divided by 10 and then divided by 2. So we're, see, we're breaking down the division. Div first divided by 10 and then divided by 2. That's the same as dividing by 20 because 10 times 2 is 20. So then they, it looks like they do the first part of that. You know, I would have preferred if they would have said, hey, let's look at that part first. And they put parentheses around it, right, our associative property there. Um, Let's do that first, 18,000 divided by 10. 18,000 divided by 10, oh, I see, we move every digit one place digit over. So our 10,000s become 1,000s, our 1,000s becomes hundreds, etc., etc. So now we have 1,800 divided by 2. Well, 18 of anything is 2 of that thing. 18 cars divided by 2 is 9 cars. 18 oranges divided by 2 is 9 oranges. And 18 hundreds divided by 2 is 9 hundreds. Awesome. So they did that. Let's see if we can do that for one of these other problems. I'm going to skip ahead. I'm going to let you do 2B. I'm going to take a look at 2C, see if we can solve that one. 2C asks us to do the following. 18,000 divided by 2,000. Well, I'm going to mimic what they did in that first problem. I'm going to say this is the same as 18,000 divided by 1,000 divided by 2. So that's the same problem. 18,000 divided by 1,000, I think I can figure that out. 18, 18 of anything divided by one of that thing is just 18. So let's see, 18,000 divided by 1,000 is 18. And we could also see that because 1,000 means that we're going to move one, two, three place values over. So instead of a 10,000, it's going to become not 1,000, not 100, but a 10. And sure enough, there it is. It's our 10. And our 8,000 is going to move over three spots, so it's not thousands. It's not hundreds, it's not tens, it's ones, and there we go. So now we have a simpler problem. We have 18 divided by 2, and that one I can do with mental math. That is simply equal to 9. Awesome. So 18,000 divided by 2,000 equals 9. Tremendous. Well, that's all I'm going to do tonight. I'm going to leave the rest of those homework problems for you, depending on what your teacher assigned. Thanks for joining us for Mr. Kung Has Problems. I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.